in terms of at the very beginning because the trees were very small, they did use sticks. And they, uh, they used a type of um, catcher also below the, the trees when the canopy wasn't that big that would catch the pecans and then they just put them in the, in the trailer. Uh, from using a stick to now using a pecan shaker, which comes in, it kind of looks like a Star Wars machine that comes in and, and grabs the trunk of the tree and shakes it and all the pecans fall down. And um, we use sweepers also, instead of using uh, men with rakes to rake all the pecans into a windrow, we use sweepers to, to put all the pecans into a windrow so the harvesters can just come through and, and vacuum them up. A windrow is a long strip of pecans and leaves put together so that uh, a harvester can go right over them and pick them up. Pecan harvesting requires specialized equipment. What used to be a back-breaking process is now fast and efficient thanks to machines like these. Well, the machinery has uh, expanded everywhere from the people with the cane poles who thrashed them out and picked them up by hand on the ground to now we have shakers and sweepers and pickup machines. It's all done mechanically. We can. Each machine can harvest 40,000 pounds in a good day versus uh, when uh, we had to pick them up by hand. Every worker picked up about 200 pounds per day. The pecans are finally picked from the trees but there's still a lot of work to be done before they're ready for you to enjoy. When the nuts are collected from the ground, they're mixed in with branches and leaves, which require a lot of cleaning. Specially designed facilities are used to separate the pecans from other materials, which are picked up with them in the harvesting process. First, when the pecans come uh, in from the field, they get dumped in a pit where it goes up the elevators and it's got trash, sticks, rocks. With the assistance of gravity, conveyor belts and lifters, the process takes the pecans through a series of filtering devices and sorting mechanisms which separate them from the unwanted debris. They're also sorted by size. Even with the specialized equipment, people are still a big part of the process. Workers further clean and sort by hand the nuts that the machinery missed. And finally, after a fairly complicated process, we have thousands, or actually millions, of nice, clean, healthy pecans. They are then placed in large containers and moved to a warehouse where they await the next process, shelling. Imagine hand cracking all of these nuts. It would take a lot of hard labor to do what today's shelling plants do in just a few hours. This is our custom shelling operation here. Uh, behind me is, is our machinery and our people where we process small lots of pecans for uh, small growers that bring them in here and they want their own pecans back. They're sorted and so on, then they're brought in through the wall and this machine over here, they, they crack them. From the cracking, they run into a sheller. The sheller basically takes the hull off of the meat itself. And from that point on, then they're divided into uh, a set of trays that basically takes them and separates out your halves from your large pieces and small pieces, and then uh, the granule meal that's pulled off the bottom of it. And then from there, it's, they're blown, like instead of the blowers that we have over here, and that separates the shell from the, the pecan meats themselves. And then we have an electronic eye that we have that actually will also help separate out some of the shell. And once we go, that part of the process, and then we bring them over here to the, the people behind me and they run them across to the selection table. And the selection table, they actually hand pick out whatever little bit of shell is left out of there of the particular product. And it goes into a box that's marked with the individual's name on it. Unlike most agricultural products, pecans can be bought and sold through accumulators. An accumulator buys pecans from local growers and sells them in bulk to commercial buyers. We're in our buying station and 
the buying station is kind of a unique thing as far as the pecan industry goes because what you end up with is we buy from the general public. And whereas the general public, you may not have individuals that have, uh, say, corn or soybeans or something growing in their backyard and they would have to market, but, uh, but they may have a pecan tree. So we'll have people that will come in here with anywhere from five pounds to 500,000 pounds and uh, we'll take a look at them and uh, our buyer will actually uh, assess what market value that they're worth that particular day. He'll make the guy an offer. We'll, uh, the guy accepts it, we'll weigh him out and write him a check. These pecans have been on quite a journey. Many of them will be sold to specialty stores, supermarkets, and bakeries, but a lot of them will become delectable candy confections. Our company is vertically integrated, and so we do everything from growing the pecans, to processing the pecans, to making a value-added product with the pecans, which is the candy. We make probably about 20 different types of products with the pecans, all the way from chili pecans to chocolate covered pecans to clusters, caramel clusters that are covered with chocolate, uh, to toffee, pecan brittle. And we sell it in our retail stores and through our mail order catalog and the internet. During November and December we are the largest UPS shipper in the state of New Mexico. So we ship out a lot of packages for people all over the United States and some in foreign countries. Because pecans are seasonal during the fall, they're often a favorite during the holidays. What would Thanksgiving be without a pecan pie? Pecans have been associated with sugary treats so they haven't been widely accepted as healthy food, but there are a lot of health benefits to these tasty nuts. Pecans are a remarkable food. Well, they're remarkable in, in terms of how delicious they are, and you don't have to be a nutritionist to know how really good they taste. But in terms of their uh, nutritional attributes, they're wonderful. Now, they are a high-calorie food, uh, but they're uh, also very high in uh, the uh, monounsaturated fats, they're very high in some of the same fats that you get in olive oil. And so those, like the Mediterranean diet uh, and the virtues of that, you get some of those same kind of benefits from monounsaturated fats in pecans. When it comes to the calories, it, you need to remember uh, that you don't want to eat enormous amounts of anything that's high in calories. So it's balance and moderation, to get the, the good benefits from pecans, uh, to have a modest amount. So what's a modest amount? You know, if you, if you have like about a handful or so, and you can sprinkle that on your cereal, you know, your oatmeal, or whatever your favorite cereal is in the morning, you can sprinkle that on, or like a salad. Oh, this makes a wonderful salad topping. Uh, sprinkle it on uh, your entrees and pastas, and this is the way to get the benefits of pecans is by incorporating it, it into otherwise healthy foods. Some research uh, that I did here at New Mexico State, uh, we found that eating pecans help lower your LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is the bad cholesterol. And isn't that wonderful that something so delicious can be so good for you? It is a very healthy snack. You eat a donut, and 30 minutes later, an hour later, you're starving. And of course, I have a lot of pecans at my disposal to, to munch on. But you can eat a handful of pecans, and you're not hungry the rest of the day. Pecans are more than just snack food. Did you know that the shells can be used for mulch? There are a lot of uses for these diverse nuts. Here at De La Vegas, we're really unique because almost everything that we use is with pecans. So all the way from cooking with the pecan wood, from the very beginning process of cooking the food, all the way to garnishing with pecans on top. We have pecan flavored iced teas, we have pecan flavored beer. So almost everything that comes out of this restaurant is some way or form touched with pecans. This right here is our pecan grill. What it is is it's a pallet fed grill. 
These pecan pellets are made especially for us. There's no gas included inside this system. So these pecan pellets are very important to us. Being a Las Cruces native, uh, New Mexico State uh, graduate, which is, our, uh, which is our college here in Las Cruces, um, I, I've just seen pecan growers, uh, I've seen pecan orchards my whole entire life. Uh, the biggest problem that pecan farmers have had is getting rid of all the wood. So we found a way to put this wood to good use, and that's using it to flavor our wonderful food here at De La Vegas. All of our pecans that we use here in this restaurant are locally grown pecans, and all of our wood is locally grown as well. So there's so much wood around here that they don't know what to do with it, so they'll give it to us all day long to smoke our food. Pecans are as American as, well, pecan pie. From the hardworking people to the cleaning and processing plant, and then to your plate, it all begins right here in the pecan orchard. Agriculture has been an excellent way of life. There is a lot of people that take it for granted that think food comes from a uh, grocery aisle. And uh, another thing is we're up against a lot of odds in the sense of weather. We can't control that and, the, and prices of fuels and stuff affect us. So a lot of factors that a guy has to watch to make it work, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. The great thing about being a farmer is that it's very rewarding because you see the whole process throughout the year. You see the trees that are bare, you see them bud out, you kind of baby them along until they produce this fruit. And then there, you have a reward at the end of the of the season where you just pick up a lot of pecans. We love it. It grows on you. It's a, it's a passion. It's hard work. Sometimes it's great money. Sometimes, sometimes there's no money. They're a favorite during the holidays, versatile and very healthy. They're a part of our great American history and they're here for us to enjoy. Field Trip was made possible by the Cooperative Extension Service at New Mexico State University and by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. Pecans. Pecan uh, is uh, the correct way to pronounce it. Oh, and these are lovely pecans. These are halves. Oh. Whoever says pecans, you could almost bet they live east of the Mississippi. Oh, I like to eat my pecans toasted. I love pecans. You don't have to salt them up, you can leave them dry, you can eat them plain. Nutty flavor. It's just what I love. Pecan, bar none, best wood to cook with. If you would like to purchase a copy of this program, please visit krwg.org.